All right, here we are. Uh, we have another War Machine Battle Report, but this one's going to be more of a, a higher skill level type one. I mean, I've been posting a lot of the Journeyman League's ones, and this is where people are trying out new factions or the new players. This one is me against my brother Borg9, and we are trying all out as, as good as you can play. And really what this comes down to is a whole idea that I did really crappy with Legion at the last tournament, like really crappy, and so I'm thinking, you know what, maybe I need to try something new. So I'm going to be going with now uh, Signar and going with Epic Kane, and I made the best Epic Kane list I could, and I said to my brother, here's my list, do the best thing you can to face me, just so I can get some real practice at high level play. So what he decided to take is Peace Scar, he's going to have the Kraken here, the Stalker, the Slayer, there's also going to be the Raiders with the UA and the Solo. There's going to be the Bane Thralls. There's a Scarlock. You know, those Stitch guys in the back and Necrotech and, you know, that lady on the left. Can't remember his name right now. But, you know, it's it actually looks kind of like a more standard list room. Like, of course, normally we do smaller games. So now he has a Kraken on top and stuff. But, uh, you know, this is a type of list that my Epic Kane destroyed him last time because I had to shoot down all of his infantry. Uh, Kraken will be uh, kind of a problem, but I have my own stuff. And so what I have on my side is I'm going to be running Epic Kane with a Stormwall. I'm going to be having the Rangers, Ryan Holt, Esquire, uh, Iana and Holt, Boom Howler. I'm going to have the Black 13th, a uh, Stormcaller, and Max Niss. And really, for 50 points... I'm going to talk about it at the end, but this is the one that I came up with that I really think has all the tricks I need to beat the the tough stuff right uh, right now that's winning all the tournaments. But then again, hey, you know, as much as I like to think that I'm a good player, clearly I, I'm not with how I got crushed last time. I'm just trying to get there and trying to be a stronger player. So this is the, the board we got here. I also have Epic Iris on the right. And the way that this one works for Into the Breach is you need five points. You can get one for dominating the flag on the right, but you can only dominate it. Uh, from the zone, you can control for one, dominate for two. But you know what? I'm guessing this one won't come down to scenario. Either way, uh, what I'm looking at here is I got him to deploy first, and I did my thing. And one of the things I'm worried about is, obviously, I'm, I'm setting up for the big fight in the zone. And the last thing I want to have happen is Scar sneaking over once everything's engaged and uh, going to the flag. So basically, that's why I have Epic Iris there, just to say, you know what? Piss off. Stay away from this flag. So he takes that first turn, and he's really moving on up. And that forest on the left is causing me issues because the Nis Hunters have Hunter, so I can see through the woods, but I can't see his stealth. The Black 13th have some stuff that can get to stealth, but I can't get him because he's on the side of a woods. So that's going to be a little bit of an issue. He's being pretty conservative. Like normally he'd just be running in my face. But now he's, I think he's literally gun shy because he knows how deadly Epic Kane can be with his shooting. And uh, so yeah, stay in you know, a respectable distance away. So on my turn, I uh, don't really get too much done. I'm really just advancing and, and taking up positions. Uh, he didn't do any spells on his turn that I uh, remember. On my side, I'm going to put True Shot on myself. There's Stealth on Iana and Holt. I also put uh, Heightened Reflexes up on Boom Howler because, hey, super tough where you can't be knocked down is great. Uh, the one mistake, I mean, I put down the two uh, Covering Fire templates. The one thing I should have done that I didn't is I really should have shut out my pod so I could shoot it with the Black 13th and put like another cloud there to really complete this line. Didn't do that, but otherwise, you know, I'm still just waiting for him because now I have Striker where he couldn't really do anything last turn, but now if he holds his ground, I'm just going to jump up and shoot him and jump back. So should be pretty good. Uh, Epic Iris is also just hiding here on the right. He set up his uh, one solo there, the Raider Captain, to counter me if I went up to shoot his one little free, stupid, Bane, whatever thing. <laughs> Neck I don't know the names of all their Crick solos. It's really the cheap one that comes with the Necrotech. Either way, I just snuck around the house here, and I'm hoping to go around to the flank. Uh, on his turn, he shoots at Epic Kane. He scatters, and only scatters a few inches. And with that, he is able to kill Holt 
Ayana, luckily he rolled like crap and is alive with one box left. And look at that, Kane is like half dead already. So even with camping too and with high defense, it doesn't really save you too much if he, you know, gets you with the blast and then, you know, boosts damage. And yeah, that's, that's a little bit of a danger here. I did not really think of the range kill on myself. So overall, it looks like this. He has a couple of the... Uh, Raiders run up just to kind of engage me and cause some troubles. And this is where I'm really kicking myself for not having that extra template there. Otherwise, you can see he's really holding back. You know, like normally on turn two for my brother, he is charging me across the line and we are fighting on my side of the board. Clearly, he, you know, is giving Epic Kane a lot of respect there. Uh, and hey, man, if he could shoot me from across the board, why not? So on my turn, I have a lot of issues trying to kill those two raiders in front of me. And so, you know, I, I go and I try and call down the thunder in one of them with the storm collar. That fails. I have to use the storm pod to kill one after our Nis went in failed. Uh, the rest of the Nis just did a combine into the Kraken and did a couple of points of damage there. Uh, then what I actually did to get rid of them is actually the raiders did a charge order. So they charge in, they kill the last raider in my way. The other one up there mid zone also killed another one. So yeah, way to go. Otherwise, uh, pretty much the biggest thing that happened was just the, uh, Boom Howlers here going for super tough and is running up to really gain the way of the Kraken. I mean, if he pops his feet in that Kraken, Kraken, whatever, charges my storm wall, it is done. However, these Boom Howlers can be in its way, and then I can set up the counter. So I also shot my two big guns at the Kraken, did some more damage, actually some pretty healthy damage, and then otherwise, yeah, then up popped uh, Epic Kane, shot down a couple of Raiders and uh, a Bane, and then jumped back to safety. Uh, except that he wasn't that safe at all, uh, because what he does is, first of all, he needs to clear out some of my... Uh, boom howlers just to get the the kraken up and he does that either through the stalker with uh he does a spray with the solo also scar went up pop the feet and uh, used her sacrificial strike thing to kill another one and you know he did some some other stuff too but really what really matters here is a kraken comes up here boosts the shot on epic kane and uh kills him and this is something where i was you know what? It was stupid because I already knew that he has this big, crazy, super shot cannon. I should have known that from deployment, but I just was not thinking about the ranged assassination. And after he even hit me, I thought like, well, well, he'll just scatter off again. I should be safe next time. Well, no. I mean, it's not that hard for him to, to get me. It's not out of the you know, th that tough when you're boosting your shot. So, yeah, there goes down Epic Kane. And so, really, the thing we talked about after this is what should I have done to counter this? And I think one of the changes I need to make is I'm going to be dropping Iana and Holt for a Sentinel. Because if I had a Sentinel there to shield guard those shots, I would have been completely fine. Uh, the other thing we were talking about that you could do is I could be just hiding behind the storm wall, running around, and then uh, gate crashing back behind. But that would really limit my threat range. So I think the Sentinel is really the biggest thing. Plus, it would protect my storm wall from, you know, black oil and stuff like that. But there you go. Trying for, uh, you know, some really high competitive play. Unfortunately, just got my caster killed. But this is one of the things where you can put together a good list but you still need the practice to actually know how to make it work and do these games like this so you can see where your weaknesses are. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Bye.